Hello, welcome again to the Bible Talk video blog. I'm Mike Mazzalongo, your instructor. Well, we're talking about the Mazzalongo uh, recipes for success. And uh, last, uh, in the last video blog, I gave you the success recipe for family because, well, it's the priority in our daily lives. Uh, uh, if our families don't succeed, of course, it affects every area of, um, of life and so it's important to work on that first. Now, in this blog today, I want to give you the ingredients for a successful career. And I call, it, I call this recipe personal pan pizzazz. Personal pan pizzazz. Uh, let's talk about careers for a second. Did you know that the original meaning of the word career has absolutely nothing to do with work? According to Webster's Dictionary, the word means swift movement or impetus. It's the, it's the movement of our work. It's the, it's the overall direction that's called a career. Now, the most used word to describe our career is, you guessed it, the word successful. I mean, Nobody wants to fail at their career. No one aims at having a mediocre career. Could you imagine somebody saying, you know, I'm going to go to school, I'm going to go to graduate school, I'm going to work hard, I'm going to do an internship because I really want to have an average career. Nobody ever says that. We all want a successful career. No matter, no matter what our endeavor is, we want to succeed. So this is where my personal pan pizzazz recipe comes in. A recipe for success regardless of your career type. Are you ready? All right, in order to create one of these, here are the three steps. Number one, you have to spread yourself out. Spread yourself out. Just like a pizza needs to first to have a pie crust. You ever see the guys, the way they, they put together a, a pizza? They, um, they'll take a piece of dough and they'll slap it down on the, on, the, you know, on the cooking table and they'll slap it down. What do they do? They spread it out, don't they? They spread it out because they want to make room to put the ingredients. Well, in, in the same way, as far as our careers are concerned, we need to spread our lives out with different experiences in order to be ready to begin a successful career. In other words, you have to try things. You have to experiment, you have to travel, get some training, improve your education, learn new things in any way that you can. You know, very few people know what they want to do in their career by the time they're 20. Uh, some people do, but the majority of people you know, have a hard time figuring out exactly what their career is going to be by the time they're 20, even 30. I remember I was 32 years old when I, when I went into ministry. Um, and it took another 10 years or so to really solidify my thinking that, yes, this is, this is the career that, uh, that I wanted to do. So you don't know what you want to do unless you find out what you don't want to do. And you have to spread yourself out in order to find these things out. So step number one for a successful career in that recipe, spread yourself out. Step number two, add the best toppings. Let me ask you something about pizza. Would you like to have um, a fish head pizza? Would that be good for you? Would you like that? Would you order those if you call Domino's or Pizza Hut? Send me a fish head pizza. Or how about a rat's tail pizza, right? Well, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, the success of a pizza is its toppings. The best pizza has the best and the freshest ingredients. In my personal pan pizzazz, I add only the best toppings for career. Things like integrity and generosity and hard work and sacrifice, service, humility, quality worksmanship, loyalty, wisdom. You see what I'm talking about? These toppings cost a lot more to add, but in the end they make the difference between just having a job and having a successful career. Okay, a uh, 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 third step in having a successful career. Step one, you remember you've got to spread yourself out. Step two, you have to add the best ingredients. Step number three, bake in the furnace of faith until ready. A truly successful career is one that acknowledges that we serve God with our career, not just ourselves. When we put our work in His hands for direction, for help, for success, we are lining up our efforts with His will and we guarantee that our work, whatever it is, will please Him. And that's true success. 
when our career lines up with His will, we are aiming at true success in our career. So each of you, I'm sure, who are watching this blog have different skills and different, uh, uh, different calling in life. Uh, but I uh, encourage you and remind you that you will succeed if you follow these steps, if you follow these recipe steps. Uh, get out there and try things. Spread yourselves out. Number two, give the best of yourself always in every endeavor. And number three, trust God to provide in all things, even in your career. Okay, well that's the second recipe for success. We'll talk about the third one in our next video blog. I'm uh, Mike Mazzalongo and you can get in touch with me at mike at bibletalk.tv. We'll see you next time for the next video blog. God bless.